Hey you guys, um, Lacey and Steve from Duo Reacts. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching our video. We're doing a three-peat. We, yep, we're wearing the same clothes. We just got done watching episode five and six. Uh, uh, some of you know Ava has been sick with the flu, so it's been kind of rough for us to record videos with her being sick. So we are kind of in catch-up mode right now. So. Um, yep, so we're watching five, uh, five, six, and seven right now. This yep. is episode seven, and it is called The Broken Man. And yes, I did change it back there. <laughs> this one is called The Broken Man. The Broken Man. The Broken Man. Okay. So in the last episode, we had quite a bit of stuff happen. High Sparrow pulled a power move. Uh, got getting King Tommen on his side. Uh, yeah. Gave Jamie the stink eye. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Arya is done apparently with uh, the faceless men. She has her needle and she looks to be kind of like hiding out somewhere. Yep, in a room. And I it looks Some like a room. dungeon, or like or, you know, like it looks like a basement. Looks like, like a little room. Yeah, I don't know, but. Yeah, she um, turned off the light. She she blew out her candle and went to bed, apparently. But no, she turned off the light. Oh, she turned yeah, off the they light. They had electricity. They had electricity, you know. Um, but, so, are you ready to get into... Yes, I am. Let's roll. Let's do it. Frickin' way! <laughs> the hound is back! <laughs> wow. Back I don't even game. dance now. I want to see what's up. One of my favorite characters. Wow. I knew you were gonna love seeing that. When, when's the last time we saw him? The end of season four. So almost two seasons. Oh my god. In all my days, I've never seen a man swing an axe like that. How many men did it take to cut you down? Just one. He was a woman. <laughs> <laughs> It was a woman. <laughs> I think some of the men are a bit afraid of you. <laughs> I'm used to it. When I found you, I thought you'd been dead for days. Well, you were stinking already, and you had bugs all over you, and bone was coming through right there. I was going to give you a proper burial and then you cop. Huh, nearly shit myself. I reckoned you were going to die by the time I loaded you on the wagon, but you didn't. Kate. Kate. There's a reason you're still here. No, there's a reason I'm a big fucker and I'm tough to kill. No reason. The gods are real. Why haven't they punished me? They have. But you should leave, Grandmother. Your place is at home. I will never leave you. Never. You must. Go home. Find comfort in prayer and good works. I'll see you soon, my dear. That's what'll happen to you if we lose. The Boltons, the Karstarks, the Umbers, 
After they finish with me, they'll come for you. He died for us. If we are not willing to do the same for him, the cowards, he deserved to be the last of the free folk. No. the giant on his side then I heard you leaving King's Landing. That is hardly your concern. The High Sparrow rules this city because of you. Our two ancient houses face collapse because of you and your stupidity. You're right. I made a terrible mistake. I carry it with me every single day. I wonder if you're the worst person I've ever met. At a certain age, it's hard to recall. But the truly vile do stand out through the years. I'm leaving this wretched city as fast as I can before that shoeless zealot throws me into one of his cells. You've lost Cersei. It's the only joy I can find in all this misery. Oh, she's pissed. Yes, she is. You promised me a lordship and a castle and a highborn beauty for a wife. And you'll get all three. A Lannister always Don't pays. say it. Don't fucking say it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even say it. I sliced your niece's throat from air to air. Where were you? Running and hiding like a fucking coward! Go on then, cut his throat. <laughs> He's <But> Jamie, <coughs> we didn't know you were coming because you didn't set a proper perimeter. You just allow us 8,000 men to approach unchallenged. Good thing we're friends, or we'd be fucking you in the ass right now. But let's say I threaten to hit you unless you shut your mouth. But you kept talking. What do you think I'd do? I don't give a rap. I'm here by the king's command to take back this castle. Have him bathed and fed. <laughs> Lady Mormon. Welcome to Bear Island. I remember when you were born, my lady. You were named for my aunt Liana. You said she was a great beauty, I'm sure you will be too. I doubt it. My mother wasn't a great beauty, or any other kind of beauty. She was a great warrior, though. She died fighting for your brother, Rob. I served under your uncle at Castle Black, Lady Liana. He was also a great warrior and an honourable man. I was his steward, in fact, I... I think we've had enough small talk. Why are you here? As far as I understand, you're a snow in Lady Sandra's abode. Who's she a Lannister? I've heard conflicting reports. I understand that I'm responsible for Bear Island and all who live here. So why should I sacrifice one more moment life for someone else's war? Please, <laughs> I knew it. I understand how you feel. You never thought you'd find yourself in your position. Being responsible for so many lives at such a young age. This isn't someone else's war. It's our war. Go on, said Abel. It's between the living and the dead. And make no mistake, my lady. The dead are coming. She's ten. Our small mothers kept faith with House Stark for a thousand years. We will not break faith today. How many fighting men can we expect? Ten. Sixty-two. What? what? <laughs> 62. You we're not a large house, but we're a proud one. If they're half as ferocious as their lady, the Boltons are doomed. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a minute. Well, guys, you got 2062. <laughs> we have 2062 fighting for. of saving your men's lives. Why did you come treat with me? Feed you to 
dumb. I wanted to see you in person, get the measure of you. Well, now you have. I, now I have. I'm disappointed. I served House Stark wounds, but House Stark is dead. It's not going so well. No, it's really not. I know you've had some bad years. <laughs> bad years? I'm tired of watching you cower like a beat dog. Drink the goddamn ale. If you're so broken that there's no coming back, <clears throat> take a knife and cut your wrists. End it. But if you're staying, Theon, I need you. We're gonna sail to Marine. We're gonna make a pact with this Dragon Queen. And we're gonna take back the Iron Islands. Oh, yeah. Are you with me? It's not enough. We need more men. There's no time. If we went down to Castle Kerwin, I know that we'll put we fight with the army we have. Should you on? All my superiors thought I was brave. I wasn't. It's never too late to come back. Stay safe. The night is dark and full of terrors. I knew this was happening. I want to put passage home. Hmm. Hmm. Can't afford it. I'm leaving two days. You have a hammock in spirit. I want a cabin. We'll leave it on. <laughs> See you at sunrise. Oh my god! I knew it! I know. Yep. Wow. Again, <laughs> I couldn't say it. A broken man. <sighs> wow. Arya is not in a good spot. No. She was just. Well, she's living a lot longer than I thought she did or would right now. Oh, man. Well, let's get into the questions. Uh, Silver of House Storm. Silver. The Hound was there to build seps and, and kick ass. Now he's all out of seps. 
Yeah. How many fucking chickens are going to die? Every freaking one of them. <laughs> he seems to be pretty pissed at the end of that episode. Yeah. He grabbed that axe with some vengeance. So, um, Next question is from Purple RD. Purple. Uh, there's three questions here. Oh, man. The hound is back. Did you ever think that he was alive? No. And... What do you think will happen with him in the future? Where's his storyline going? He's going to kill some people right now. <laughs> like right now, all I know is he's going to yeah. kill. I don't know where his storyline's going because um, obviously he has no idea where Ari is. Or right. It's kind of weird how they follow each other in the story. Yeah. Um. No, I, I didn't think he was alive, so I never even gave it a thought. And right. where he's heading now, I really don't know. Okay. Find his niche back into the... Find his niche somewhere. Somewhere. I'm sure he's going to run into someone. <laughs> um, do you think Aria will survive, and how? She's got to. She's got to. Okay. I don't know how. There isn't good medicine around, I can't imagine. <laughs> I mean, she's I can't gonna. Imagine. I mean, she's got a slash. She got slashed, right? And then two stab wounds. Yeah. And <sighs> blood was coming out of her pretty good. That's not so, looking good right now. I mean, she does have some money. She does, and maybe she can find somebody to keep stitch her I up. I have no and, idea. I don't know. What's Sansa and John seem to have different opinions of how to handle the war. Who do you think is right? John's saying we got to fight with what we got, and Sansa's saying it's not enough. I I would I would agree with Sansa. So they need to I'd wait. Have to agree. She's saying to wait. John's ready to just go in, guns blazing, and right. and see what happens. And I think she's right by holding out. And I don't know who she was writing at the end of that, but she I have was a feeling. writing a letter to somebody. I have a feeling it was Littlefinger. Okay. Maybe to reconsider. That's her own. Yeah, because that's honestly. Um, he, he said that. I mean. Yeah, because they still don't know if. How can, how can she ever trust him? Right. But. When there's nothing, no, no hope in procuring more people, right? And John's ready to go. Um, she's gonna. Have, she's like, I, I maybe I need to get who I know I can get. Maybe. And she like looked that like sort of she, it was killing her to do whatever she was doing. And yeah. That's the only reason I thought that it, it could was be him. That, yeah. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Could be wrong. I don't know. Um, maybe she's uh, writing Bolton. Take me back. I'll come back. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, Craig, uh, Craig Costalecki. Hey, Craig. After almost two full seasons, we see that Sandor Clegane really did survive. Yes. When Arya left him, you said she was ice cold to leave him to die and suffer. But do you think that she thought, perhaps even subconsciously, that he could survive and she'd get to see him again. And now that we've seen what has happened with both characters since they parted, how do you think Arya and Sandor will react if they ever get to meet again? <laughs> I think it'll be freaking great. Maybe but, an, an awesome little duo there. But don't believe anyone's dead until you've seen him killed. We've seen that a lot this uh, this season. We've had a lot of people come back around. Benjen, we yep. thought he was dead. Yep. The Hound. The Hound. We thought was dead. For sure. Uh, yeah. I've, I mean, what's the stroke of luck of that if one? If you don't see him die... Assume they're not assume, dead. Assume. Yeah, that seems to be kind of But then again, the way this is going. But again, there, there's been a few that... Oh, you know what? I think that's, yeah, this is kind of like the next question from Gabriel. This Did I answer Craig's question? What do I think if they were to happen to meet again? Yeah. 
like how Craig, your question is the reason that kind of prompted that. Yeah. Um, don't believe anyone's dead until right. you've seen them killed. Right. So Stannis is alive. <laughs> I'm thinking Brienne definitely killed him. Right, but <laughs> did she slice it deep enough? I don't know. Yeah. Um, Gabriel says, this season has been filled with surprising character returns, including mm-hmm. John, first yes. and foremost. Osha, Rickon, Uncle Benjamin, a lot. Brendan Tully, and now the Hound. Oh, and Edmure too. Yeah. Uh, which one has surprised you the most, and why? Which return has surprised you the most? I mean, if I'm just guessing, I would say maybe probably John. No, because I, I felt like or he... the Hound. The hound I thought was dead. Right. But now that I just seen it, I don't want it to be Mr. Obvious here. I mean, I didn't think he'd be back. Right. And I loved well, his character. Well, you had no reason to think that... His character was awesome. I was digging it. It was great. In yeah. fact, I could have watched a whole show on him. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, I guess the one that kind of shocked me was... Um, um, when he picked Bran up and... Um, Benjen? Yeah. Yeah, that was Benjen somebody was... that we never expected to see again. Yeah. And he just shows up out of nowhere saying the three-eyed raven called for him, told him to save Bran. Yeah. But Bran is now the three-eyed raven, so... Yeah. So what's up with that? Yeah. <laughs> Got some questions on that, but I would say his character, but no... John, John, for sure. Like the biggest. The Hound, yeah. Yeah. Um, but I didn't want to go with the obvious one. The Hound kind of shocked me because I was like, oh my God. It's Because yeah. you fully just never expected it. And to I see love it how Game of Thrones just did a, a, a cold. A runner. cold a cold open. Yeah, you know it. how they have the HBO opening and then the song and, yeah. and then the show. And all of a sudden, when you were doing yeah, your thing, was like, yeah. the show was on <laughs> they've only done that like oh sorry maybe i think like twice before like normally they've done it very few times with the cold opens yeah yeah i know but they did it with cold. two swords they did it with two swords i can't remember what other ones but i think one other one you know and as he was walking there it didn't re- you know i saw the limp but nothing i can't believe i missed it you know like that it was him but then I saw one guy carrying a big log. You were you kind of like then wondering? Then I was starting to think because it had the backdrop of kind of the area. I mean, it really did. It kind of looked like it, the same area. Right, yeah, I think I think you're right. That I don't think I ever even noticed that with like just the green and the yeah, yeah. And the mountain like the the the, I know, the hills. The I know lo- when you know. I first saw it. When I first saw it, of course, I never expected to see the hound again. But the hair, kind of. Yeah, yeah. When I saw the hair, I was like, that kind of looks like the hound's hair. And then... He's doing pretty good hobbling on one leg carrying one log. He's a strong dude. He's a strong dude, but... I'm excited to see what in the hell happens with him. But yeah, this season, I mean, hasn't it been pretty great so far? With... Heck yeah. It's been... Other than, you know, the Starks trying to build an army... It's been kind yeah, of sh- they've been, crappy. They've been know? kind of having some difficulty in getting but the houses on it. their side. You know, everybody's thinking that, you know, Ned's dead and, you know, Rob's Rob, dead. Rob kind of screwed people Catelyn's over. Dead. And I mean, and I think it's like people are scared to follow the Starks again, maybe, because of the bad taste that Rob kind of left in everybody's mouths. For because he was be. there at the end, he was making some pretty pat, pretty bad decisions. Right, and well, and, and they're now, probably and scared now, of the Boltons too. Well, and John has the wildlings, and a lot of these guys are prejudiced against the wildlings. Uh, exactly, they're like but they have well, no we don't idea. Want to fight side by side with wildlings. Yeah, this yeah. is these are people that we hate. You know that you you know absolutely yeah. hate. Think about that. Yeah, like we've it's been programmed in our heads. For 
thousands of years to hate these people, but right. yet you want me to fight side by side with them. Right. Yeah, so it's hard for people to kind of turn a new leaf when it comes to things like that. So Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I I, 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 get I understand it. That. I get it. Yeah. But, yeah. It make it make it a lot harder for me to to want to help them with that being the case, I guess. Yeah. You know, but me knowing what I know. And none of like, these like none of these people have seen White Walkers. No. Half of, like, most of them don't even believe that they still, that they even exist. No. So they don't know that threat, you know. So, I don't know. Good episode. I was just hoping John would be more. We just finished seven. Yeah. Eight, nine, and ten. And then we'll be done with season six. And on the seven, I have no idea what in the hell's about to come. So much so much but i'm ready yeah but we'll go ahead and end this video here yes thank you guys so much for watching please leave a like on this video leave your comments and questions below make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be reminded when we put up new videos and i hope you guys have an amazing and awesome day hope amazing happens to you peace out